Lionel Messi's Argentina are Skybet's favourites to lift the Copa America 2015 trophy, whilst Brazil are next in line looking to put behind the embarrassment from the World Cup 2014. Uh, and we're plenty of other teams that are going to be in the race for it. But we want to tell you, the viewers, of course, we're going to be covering this competition. I'm uh, eagerly anticipating a lot of high-scoring games, a lot of attractive football. But what do you need to know to watch it? This is what we want to talk to uh, our worldwide fans. Obviously, the games for you guys who are watching from across the pond, it might be a little late for you guys. 12.30 a.m., I think, yes. is the first game, which is... Print out a Sky Sports article, and they're like, kickoff, 1 a.m. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> so for us, it's where we get on. It's similar to when we watch the Premier League. It's our morning cup of coffee or a cup of tea or whatever. We switch on, we watch the Copa America. If you're a man, you know, to party, Francis, you just stay up. 4.45 a.m. If I was a man. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you hear that, Dan? Our executive producers in here, you stay up all night. Yeah. Or if you're studying no. for finals. Yeah, studying or if you're finals. studious. Oh, if you're studious, which <laughs> yeah. is a better answer. Like Tamers. Yeah, that's so, right. uh, we're going to break down the groups <laughs> and give ourselves our, our early predictions. We did talk about the best players. Check out that clip. Talk about our predictions. Who do we think is going to go through from each group? My World Cup predictions were so ghost, like, ga I was ready they to say weren't ghost. as bad as Jenk. They were so ghastly. <laughs> it was just unbelievable. I, yeah, Jenk. Said Spain, which was fantastic <laughs> was, when they when they crashed great. out. A lot of people, obviously, a lot of people lost some money on Spain. England, they, Italy crashed out. Yeah, I, I would put my money on it, England going out. It's standard. Well, they're That's what powerhouses <laughs> in in historical they sound terms. A bitter. Not, well, of course, I'm bitter. My team never ever makes it to the World Cup. And <laughs> never, they, ever, ever, ever. Got, we're, we're going for the Euros this year because we've got such a, a, a new lease of life about Scotland this year that I can. Genuinely see if we had independence, I think that would have just given us that final push to get into the Euros. What group is Scotland in the Copa America? <laughs> see him here. Okay. Okay. Uh, group A: uh, Chile, Mexico, Bolivia, and Ecuador round out. So the first game, obviously this Friday, which will be 12:30 uh, across in the UK. If you're watching there, 8:30 here for Pacific time. Chile versus Ecuador, Friday, June. A.M. or P.M.? It's for here. 8 a.m. Yeah, doable. So 8:30. We'll come in early. On a cup of coffee. Oh, if we're really hard, we'll just stay up. How was your accent? It's not bad. <laughs> Francis, so who do you have winning Group A, or at least what two teams have, coming I out have, of Group A? I have Chile winning the group. Uh, okay. Clear favourites for me to go through that with Alexis Sanchez, Arturo Vidal. The team of gym goers and dodgy haircuts will yeah. definitely come through. I'm with you. Chile. Yeah, you think so? Chile will take that one. Jason? And, and, uh, yep. I, I'm going to be bold and stupid. Let's go Mexico. Uh, you think Who might, oh, what am I talking? They're not going to be playing. Uh, fill people in on that, by the way. Like that? why some play, their team the, might the, not so be there. So they're playing. Did you, did you know a little bit more about what's it? Is it the Gold Cup that's going yeah, on? Yeah. So at the same time? Mexico is going to be participating in have international duty in the Gold Cup, the Concacaf Gold Cup. Okay. Um, so rumor has it they won't be supplying a full team. Um, oh, I'm not sure what that really means because uh, I I can't imagine that they would send a team down to Copa America. Yeah. With a, a subpar like, team, like I know people. when I know when uh, United States sent a like a C squad, they essentially haven't been invited back. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is you know these are some of the best teams in the world. Yeah. You want to send your best right. players. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure. I'm. I imagine. Actually, the rosters are out, so we could take a look. Yeah, we could take so a look. By, point. by Mexico, I meant Chile. You meant Chile, but yeah. but one thing about Mexico is you can never underestimate the power of their coach Miguel Her Herrera's celebrations. Miguel Herrera. Does all this. <laughs> all right, let's move on to Group B. So we have Argentina, uh, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Jamaica. Jason, Jamaica to go through clearly in this group. Uh, I'm going to put $10 on Jamaica to make it to the semifinals just because the odds are so stacked Well, they're 100 to 1. 100 to 1 to win the whole co uh, competition. Okay, no. To, in, their, in their defense, they have won their last five games. Yeah, their yeah, form have. says www. So, so and then, well, in 2011, they did not qualify, so we must reiterate that you can't just walk into the tournament. You have to qualify for the Copa America. There's plenty of other teams who are uh, about, vouching to try and get into the tournament. They did not qualify 2011. They qualified this time around, and they're coming off the back of a bunch of wins. I can imagine they might be a thorn in some team's side, but with a group... Yeah, they'll against, be a total thorn in Argentina's With Argentina sure. and Uruguay, <laughs> like, I just don't... And even Paraguay. Hey, Paraguay are a great team as well. You know, Jamaica gave US a, a run for their money, so I'm not sure that that really says much in... <laughs> Relation to this tournament, <laughs> to <the groups>. but <laughs> yeah. it's funny for me looking here to say to see uh, Paraguay. It says key man Rocky Santa Cruz. That guy has been around Sick for name. about 25 years. I'm sure still <laughs> still their key man. Surely there's someone coming up in the ranks that is better better than him to lead their line. I'm not taking anything away from the guy. They but got through to the semifinals with. Um, 
without winning a game with a bunch of draws That's last year. So the, this tournament is... done the Chelsea style? Yeah. Nice. This, this tournament is, I mean, it's this tournament, any tournament, you know, I wouldn't put my money on Paraguay either, but that being said, they you advanced yeah. out of their group. And at Uruguay, <laughs> as we must state, who are still... 14, the 14 to 1. I think that's not a bad bet to put on there. They did win it last time around. They do not have Luis Suarez, which for me is just huge. It's a huge tipping point. For me, they're not going to win it, but it still could be worth an outside bet. 14 you to 1. You just mentioned the other clip that we just did on the best players. Uh, you, their defense. Yeah. And Diego Godin. And I mean, look, uh, I, this might not be a comparable mention, but I'm going to see where it goes. Help me out here. All right. Monaco. Okay. In the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Very strong back four, mm -hmm. very good defensively, did not concede a lot of goals. Defense wins championships is an American sports saying, and I feel like it could apply in this situation. Mm -hmm. We've mentioned throughout these clips so far that you can't count any of these teams out, probably besides Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think Uruguay might not be a bad, and it's, look, they have Argentina in the group, but there's no excuse not to beat Jamaica or Paraguay. Yeah, I think that they definitely come out second in this group, but... We, but it, it, on but the and once you get out of the group, then it's anybody's. It's a one game system. It's true, but it's the same thing. Is like you're talking about Suarez. You're not talking about Cavani. It's like similar to what what would. Well, Bar with Suarez, you go okay. Well, this team could win. Yes, absolutely. I think that's what I'm saying. Like so, with Suarez, I just it is a one. You can obviously when it comes to the heat of that one game, anyone can win it. There's a lot of pressure going on, but Suarez for me is just as much so, if not favorite. even more so. Is crucial to Uruguay as Neymar is to Barcelona and Messi, uh, Messi is, is to Argentina. Argentina. And I, that Edison, list of top Cavani, 10 players, I, would, um, I just think Cavani yeah. is. I, I'm, a, I'm a huge That's critic. In the Champions League clips that we do, and I used to go on a rampage and, a, and a go on a rant about who I think is the best. And people will actually value players on who is good in FIFA, the game, mm -hmm. believe me, and how much money this player would go for. Like Cavani was tipped yeah, to go well, for like 40 million to Manchester United, and he was held in the same regard. As to Luis Suarez, Neymar, and some of the bit in Aguero and those big strikers, and I was like, no. And are these people American? But maybe yes, some people. Are, we're kind of obsessed with statistics and statistics, quantification. Yeah. So if it's any right. kind of quantification, flow. yeah, then then it's like, okay, well, how do you actually measure a player's worth? And if it's mm -hmm. price tag, if it's his statistics and ability on FIFA, yeah. then there's an actual numerical value or value attached to to those players, and that just doesn't. Oh, sometimes it translates. You have yeah. to observe. But you have to see the, the player's actual God-given talent and the yeah. way that that translates into goals or translates into solid defense. Yeah. Um, and and I, Edinson, I mean, he's a, a remarkable, experienced, consistent, I think he's a consistent player, mm -hmm. but he is not going to win Copa America for Uruguay. Yeah. Luis Suarez? Now he could do that. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have to mention this though, because every time I see it, I'm taken back by it. The tightest shirts in all sports. Oh yeah, sport. absolutely. They've got tight Europe, shirts. I, I'm amazed. And Chile, by it. they well, can't <laughs> breathe. Yeah, Chile's got some tight shirts. That happened well. like right before Beckham retired. A couple years before he retired, they started like getting these nice, tight-fitting kits for the men. It was. I want to nice. see 45 year old. He might be a little older than that. Brazilian Ronaldo wearing a shirt. <laughs> or got, Ronaldinho. You got a little thick. Yeah. Ronaldinho yeah. even. Yeah. You know? Brazilian Ronaldo awesome. hit, hit LA thickness. Yeah, he, like he, 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 LA he <laughs> thickness. He's getting a little workout. He right? got a 20 hour month <laughs> yeah, he membership. So wait, he's still <laughs> talented though. He's still talented. But um, Group B. Yeah. So we're Argentina. Group B. Argentina going to win the group in Uruguay yeah. are, are going to go through for me I think. So Group C another fantastic group. Uh, Brazil, Colombia, Peru, and Venezuela. So going there. So uh, Brazil for me, this tournament, as much as it might have been overlooked in the past, I have to say, like in 2011, they made the quarterfinals. They have to to put up a, 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 to give a great account of themselves, and if not, take this tournament home to Brazil because they had such uh, the, the the host uh, being the host nation of the World Cup. They're still hurting from that. They're still hurting from that devastating loss to Germany. Of course, they did not have Thiago Silva and Neymar in their team. And if you think that Brazil were going to go in with a lighter team, you've got another thing coming. They are going out with a fresh face team. I talked about removing the likes of Fred from their team. I think he retired, but I don't think he would have featured anyway. Or you never know. But Neymar coming in with a new fresh uh, team around him, um, and I think that they will be going out to win this tournament straight away. And a big player that I think that's just been mentioned who's been called into the team is uh, Coutinho, who plays for Liverpool. Fantastic season. A little genius, as Steven Gerrard calls him. He can be great for them, especially linking up play with Neymar. I think uh, Brazil is a perfect example of 
how closely nationalism is related to a, a country's football. Yeah. And um, they are in a rebuilding year. And the good thing about them going into this Copa America, yes, there's pressure. However, there's also this uh, kind of, they have some space. Mm -hmm. They have some space after they fell so hard at the World Cup. They have some space to rebuild. And mm -hmm. yes, the country wants them to do something in, in the finals. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that everybody expects them to do anything in the finals. They have a young, talented roster. You, you named Coutinho, Coutinho yeah. um, and, and William and yeah. Neymar. And we can, we can continue down the list of young faces that they're bringing in. Um, but I don't necessarily think that they have the pressure to win the Copa America yeah. like they had the pressure to win the World Cup as the host nation in Brazil. So this is an opportunity for them to really kind of remove a little bit of that pressure. Yeah. Dunga's Brazil now. Yeah, Dunga's go Brazil. in and, and, and show the world what they can do the, and what they're capable of. The thing about this Brazil, though, with amongst those young players you said, they still have a very similar back line, which for me was their part of their quality and mostly their downfall. When Thiago Silva was removed from that team, and you can never predict what might happen in a tournament, David Luiz is not fit to lead a back line. The same thing happened with PSG as well. We've seen a, a, a David Luiz fall victim to, and a lot of people do, a Luis Suarez escapade, basically, where he was just destroying him. And David Luiz, for me, is a good defender. I think he's better defensive midfielder. I've always said that about him. But when he comes up against a star-quality player, he suffers. I think if she gets an Aguero on his on his on, on form, you get a Carlos Tevez on form with Argentina. I just don't think they'll have enough to get through at latter stages. But uh, the next one, Colombia with James Rodriguez, who's still their key man, even with a fresh haircut, uh, Falcao coming into the team. James Rodriguez is still going to be the go-to for them because Falcao, as we mentioned before in the previous clip, he's still a good player. I still think he'll contribute for Colombia, but he's nowhere near the Falcao that we know from his Atletico Madrid days. So. Um, but you fancy Colombia? I think, yeah, I think he's going to surprise some people. Yep. I think this is another opportunity for him to really step into his place. Uh, just getting the nod from yeah. his national team is going to give him confidence um, and rise to the occasion. So I don't think yeah. we're going to see the best Falcao that we've ever seen, but we're going to see some interesting contributions from him. So Brazil, Colombia coming out of that group. Nice. And you said, that Jason, was it, did you say before, like, what can we expect from Venezuela? Or do you think Venezuela put up for a, a, a fight? I was surprised to find out, well, I remember watching it, but they were they finished fourth in Copa America 2011, which encompasses said, how I underdogs... What? I don't know. I said something. <laughs> I'm just going to say it was you. It might have been someone outside. Uh, Venezuela. Yeah, Francis, what about Venezuela? I, I just think that they could definitely put up a fight. So that rounds up uh, our group <laughs> predictions. Um, it's. I just want to reiterate, uh, we're not just doing this clip because it's football, because we love to talk football on TYT Sports. We're not just doing this tournament because it's football, but the Copa America got to rival up there with the Euros based on the World Cup. I mean, Germany flew the flag for the European teams, basically, Germany and Belgium, but no one else really from Europe astounded through the World Cup. You, Spain were awful. England and Italy fell at the first hurdle. Like, the Euros, for me, they have a lot to answer for when it comes to the Euros next year uh, to, to prove that they're still the, the, the dominant force in yeah. the world of football. But in terms of Latin America and the Copa America, I can't wait for this competition. Uh, so the odds, by the way, real quick for everybody uh, that is willing to bet on the Copa America, Argentina 2-1. to one. Uh, I wrote down shy, and I think I wanted to say Chicago. I really mean <laughs> Chile. 4-1, uh, to one, Colombia 5.5-1, to one, Uruguay 14-1, to one, and Mexico 16-1. to one. What about Brazil? Uh, three, uh, roughly 3-1. to one. Roughly 3-1, to one, so they are next in line. So we, we gave our predictions before. You can check that clip out on the best players to look out for from the Copa America. But this Friday... We'll be bringing you a recap of the first game. Chile with their dodgy haircuts. I'm positive they will win that game versus Ecuador. Throw the pen. I'll catch it. Game over. Subscribe.